All right, so many people have been asking me um, to help them make a stencil, so I'm just going to make a tutorial on how to make a stencil. I'm going to split the video up into two videos. Um, this one is going to be a single layer stencil, and then the other video will be for a more um, complex multi-layer stencil. So I've decided that for this video, we'll just go ahead and um, we'll just go ahead and Google uh, a picture. Uh, let's just go ahead and use Marvin Gaye. Let's use Marvin Gaye for this. Oh, my bad. Um, before you even start making a stencil, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need Photoshop. You don't need to pay for all that expensive um software. I use GIMP, which is free. I'll put the download in the the download link in the description so that you can download it too. Um. All right, now let's go ahead and find this picture. You're gonna want to find a picture that is both large and has um nice lighting. What the fuck? I don't want this picture. Uh, and it has nice lighting. This picture is good. So is this one. Uh, but since we're trying to find a large picture, I'm gonna change the letting the setting to large. All right. See this picture is good. Um, this one's good if you cut off the background. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and use this one, just because it's his face. It's a nice portrait. It doesn't have his hand in front of him. See, this is an example right here of a multi-layer stencil. This is a really good stencil, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and use this one. Save images in the morning, yay. Alright. Now, when you open your picture, your picture, make sure that you open up with GIMP if it's not already on default. Mine's already on default, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with GIMP already. Alright, so here, here's the picture. Right now, it's zoomed out at 66%. If I zoom in on 100%, it gets too close. Um, what you want to do is zoom out a bit so you can see the whole picture better. Alright, so now you're going to want to go up here to colors and then threshold. That's how I do it. This isn't the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it. I'm not telling you. Um, I'm just showing you how I make my one layer stencils. This is a very simple way to do it. So you're going to go to threshold. And there you go. There is your one layer stencil. Now you can still mess with this a bit you could um make it darker for more details let's see let's go about i think that right there that's good you can tell that's marvin gay now the beanie the beanie you can't tell that much but you this still has some detail on it that's why it's a one layer stencil one layer stencils really aren't the best i stopped making these for a while i still do i still do make them but for um Mostly propaganda purposes. Maybe you want to spray something really fast. Um, Alright, so you would push OK. Now, don't think that just because you've made this, this is your stencil. You still have to um, work, uh, fix it. Let's zoom in over here on the lip. The lip's a perfect example right here. Alright, this area right here. Go on 800. This area right here is the lip. Let me zoom out a bit. All right, the lip right here. You are not cutting out the white parts. You are cutting out the black parts. So if you are cutting out the black parts and you don't fix this, you would not get this white. You would not get this white part in your stencil, and it would ruin it. What you have to do is make bridges. So you would have to take your eraser and make a little bridge. I would say right here. So you would make a little bridge right here. Cut that. Maybe cut this too. Let me make my eraser smaller. Cut this over here. Now when you zoom out. Let me zoom out real quick. Alright. That's actually not the best of cuts. Let me do this again. Um, Alright. Uh... Alright, there you go. See, now, if you cut 
the black parts, you're gonna get this area. You're gonna get this white area. Well, actually, no, you're not. You need to make you need to make another bridge because this whole white area is called this. This is called an island because it's surrounded by, it's surrounded by all this entire black area, and it's not connected to any other um white parts. So you might want to make maybe make a little bridge right here, cutting through all this black. Now, now it's not an island because now it's connected to the rest. Um, maybe cut another one right here, or cut through the beanie. Since the beanie doesn't have much, um, detail, it doesn't affect it much. Um, the bridges really affect areas that have, ha um, a lot of detail. See right here, it kind of looks a little funky. Um, I would actually go back to this, um, stencil and edit it a little bit more to make it look a lot more smooth. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to do that. Also, this eye right here, the eyes you gotta be careful with. You see the, the little island right here? You do not, you don't need to make a bridge here. You might just want to uh, color it in like that. Alright. This one you might want to make because it's a really big white spot, so that makes a huge difference if I was just to just color it like that. It, it looks kind of weird. It looks like he doesn't have any eyes, but. <laughs> so you might want to make a bridge there. All you, really, all you would need to do is just cut right here, maybe like that, something like that. But this whole area is still an island. So you would have to make a cut maybe around here or right here because it's a little spot right here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, how you make a one-layer stencil. There's not much to it. I do draw my own stencils for those of you wondering. Um, let me pop out a let me pop out a, an example for you right now. All right, so this is an example of... Um, one of the stencils that I've drawn up, it's a cat, it's my character. Uh, as you can see, it's got bridges over here, on the eyes. Over here. Um, the mouth, the mouth is like that, because, I don't know, I just like how it looks, but this, uh, this, uh, this entire part also serves as a bridge. The nose, too. The nose right here. It's got a little opening right here. So, yeah, uh, you can draw your own stencils, uh, which is probably the more creative way to do it. A more creative way to approach stencils. It's much more personal than just googling a picture and uh, making it a stencil. But either way, it's, it's it, uh, it makes for some really great art. So uh, just have fun. Live free, motherfuckers. <laughs> Cutting and spraying. Cutting is a bitch. I'll tell you that right now.